Uh, so, uh, uh, Tom, hey, Jack, you sort of. A breakdown how you how you thought you played it out tonight maybe some of the things Rutgers was doing defensively that posed issues for you guys. Um, I think we need to play that. I gotta go out there. I need all the throws high. I can't you know do any of that. I gotta put it on our playmakers. Um, you know they're they're doing a lot of cover two stuff, um, getting over top of David and then trying to. Be right over top of Rondell too, so we try to take our, our guys, but that's no excuse. So I got to play better. And Xander, your game, 100 yards rushing. Um, you, know, you guys had 125 yards rushing in the first half, and sort of got away from the ground game in the second half. But again, a uh, big night for you. Um, just sort of talk about uh, your effort. Uh, I mean, some people will probably say that's good effort, but to me, I don't think it's enough. I mean, obviously, if you look at the score at the end of the game, we lost. So. Personally, I don't think it's enough. I think I could do more for the offense and just from our unit to try to either get more explosive plays or get in the end zone. But, I mean, I made a few plays, but overall I got to make some more of those. And then talk, talk about going forward here. Um, Xander, uh, three losses in a row. You have Nebraska coming up next. So, sort of talk about the sense of urgency the team's facing there down the stretch as December goes. Uh, I mean, when you get three losses in a row, a lot of teams kind of get down, but we can't do that. We got to keep high intensity and just keep moving forward and just stick to what we're doing, taking all the coaching points and just attack whenever we get out in the field and just listen to Coach Brown and whatever he has in plan for us. Thank you, Xander. I'm good. Okay, Mike Carmen. Uh, for Jack, just the, uh, the interception. I guess kind of take us through that. Did you, uh, I guess, what did you see there? Um, you know, we had, we had some guys mugged up on the line and uh, they actually got <coughs> pressure from the edge. And uh, I had uh, escaped a little bit and my hand flashed open and I didn't see the guy coming from the backside. And, you know, I consider myself a smart guy, but it's not a smart play to <coughs> throw across your body. I think everyone knows that. So, Cardinal center playing quarterback is throwing across your body late over the middle. And I uh, thought I could get it in there. I didn't see the guy. And he you know, came from the backside and got me. You guys had a lot of success moving the ball probably for two and a half quarters. What did they do or what happened uh, the last quarter and a half where the offense just kind of became bogged down and couldn't sustain anything? Um, it's I think the little things, just you know, not being able to – you know, throw accurate balls and catch it when it's there and, you know, get the yards we're supposed to get in the run game. Um, I mean, I don't think they really changed uh, much up at halftime. Uh, it just comes down to execution from the offense. It starts with me. Uh, did you feel like you kind of spread the ball around a little bit more tonight? Uh, you know, because they, they were probably trying to take away David and Rondell. Did you, did you feel like you had pretty good recognition in that in that area? Yeah, we had, we had an idea of what they were going to do, play line cut two, uh, some quarter, quarter half, and then man coverage. And for the most part, that's what that's what they stuck to. So, I mean, you know, we, we weren't real surprised, but, you know, they did, some, they did some different stuff with some edge pressure and, you know, some different fronts. But, you know, we, we just got to execute. No matter what coach calls, we gotta, we're out there. We got to make the play work. Thank you. Okay. Um, the expo. I have a question for Branson. So, um, you know, you guys kind of struggled stopping the run in the second half. I think Coach Brom said it was frustrating knowing they were going to be able to run and not being able to stop it. Can you talk a bit uh, how that worked out for you guys? Uh, just, you know, what was going in your head, the defense's collective mindset and trying to stop the run? Yeah, we didn't have to be more style up front um, and make a play that come to us. Uh, we had a few missed tackles on chances to stop those runs and – uh, we just didn't make a play. And you you lost uh you lost Derek to that targeting call. Um, can you talk a bit about how that might have you know uh, affected your guys' confidence going forward? Um, it affected it a little bit. Uh, but we always push next man up, and uh, the next guy should be able to go in and play the same way Derek does. So um, it shouldn't have affected us as much. Um, because we prepare for that all the time. 
then uh, on the brighter side of things, you got uh, you having to get Purdue's first safety in uh, twenty six since uh, twenty sixteen. Um, how, how did that feel? I just felt good in the moment. Um, uh, we can't think about it too much because uh, the wind didn't come with it. But it felt good in the moment. Um, right after it, we got to focus on the next play, the next stop, next drop. Thank you, Branson. Hey, Brennan, can you just talk about the struggles of uh, the Wildcats where, you know, as it was alluded to, is pretty much uh, you knew what was going to happen with 21 back there and they had a lot of success, you know, maybe not big plays, but it was a lot of three, four, five-yard gains and just uh, kind of moving the ball down the field very methodically. Uh, well, I mean, <clears throat> I think um, I think some injuries over to our defense has uh, played a little bit of an impact on our, you know, us trying to stop the run at the end of the game. And with the wide cloud, I think um, most likely we guys are just getting cut out of their gaps, and and then uh, Rutgers had a good power quarterback to punch it up in the middle and get a get a few consistent yards to get the first down. So that's. Basically, we got to, at the end of the game, we got to do a better job stopping the run and um, getting off the field and giving the ball back to our offense. Did you feel like you guys had some maybe game changing plays that just weren't made? You know, I think Smiley makes an interception, but there's a roughing the passer penalty. I think Derek had three or four balls that went right through his hands that could have been picks, and instead they, they get to keep possession. Um, just little things like that in the moment don't seem like a big deal, but over the course of the game, those could have been big game changers. Well, yeah, always you got to take advantage of the opportunities that are given to us. You know, we had an interception, um, got, but the uh, penalty, penalty um, gave it back to Rutgers. You know, those, and then they ended up scoring that drive. These are opportunities we got to take advantage of, and um, unfortunately, we did not. Branson, just I guess on third down and, and fourth down there late, uh, you guys are getting them in third and twos, third and threes, fourth and ones. Uh, what is it about this defense over the last couple of weeks where teams are just having a lot of success in those kinds of situations against you? Uh, we got to focus on the little things. Uh, we've been preaching that for the last two weeks, and we got to keep uh, making that our main focus. And that's really it, you know, and making plays that come to us. Uh, got to stay in the gap and do their 111. Uh, we'll be fine. Thanks, guys. Okay, uh, Joe. Hey, uh, yeah, Brennan, so it seemed like Rutgers was able to connect with Shameen Jones on that uh, goal line corner fade three different times. Was there something specific about Jones or about that play style that was difficult for you guys to cover? No, I mean, uh, that wasn't – It wasn't. I don't think it was anything particular to him. I think it was uh, – we just got to do a better job of covering our zones. It was um, a little mix-up on – on the defensive back end that we can easily get fixed. Um, I think you're referring to the first – one of the first touchdowns where he threw it backside. And, you know, with this Rutgers team, we were preparing ahead of time. You know, they're going to have trick, trick plays, and that's, that's something we got to prepare for. And then, Brenton, I know Ray mentioned the <clears> – <throat> excuse me, Ray mentioned the safety a little bit, but just take me through a little bit uh, – how that worked for you, what you saw from the offensive lineman and the moves you made and how you were able to get that? Uh, I know in the first couple of drives, uh, they were signed to the field, uh, to Lorenzo and Jack. And I knew they were going to do that. Uh, they had a Lucy call. And so I heard that. And I knew I was going to get a one-on-one -on -one with him. So I just uh, did a scissors move and it worked. And I got there for a sec. So, I mean, it was, it was all thought of. <laughs> Thanks, y'all.